my computer. Well, hi everyone. Welcome to our Monday night team Zoom. Today is November 19th. It is Thanksgiving week. It is. And here in the United States, we celebrate Thanksgiving. And for people, it's, you know, it has a different meaning for people. For us, it's really about what we're thankful for and grateful for and, and our gratitude. Um, and so that was what I shared on today's charge up call. It was a great call. Thank you. Thank you. So it might sound self serving. So, uh, Denise, what did you think about that call today about gratefulness and thankfulness? Well, <clears throat> that's one of my prosperity. Prosper gratitude is the attitude of prosperity. Correct. So what you focus on, you get more of. So I thought it was absolutely awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It was, uh, she did a lot of prep time and it's, uh, it's awesome as your household starts to realize that and the amount of gratitude and thankfulness just keeps increasing. It just makes mm -hmm. life better. Yeah, I was, I was really fascinated um, by all of the things that having gratitude does for your life from, you know, emotionally, psychologically, physically, mm -hmm. um, how it affects your workplace, your home, your relationships, so many things. So I hope if you get a chance, listen to it. Um, uh, it's the replay number is 712-432. Let me write it down here. Oops, I should probably go to the chat. Uh, why, why are you doing that? There's a book, you know, the woman that wrote the book, The Secret, Rhonda Burns. Yeah, yeah. She wrote a book called, um, ah, I forgot, The Magic. And it's 28 Days of Gratitude. Oh. And there's 28 days of different things you can be grateful for. So That's awesome. I just invite you to check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I'm typing. That's why I'm not talking. Okay, there it is. Um, the testimony, yeah, the, it, it's, I hope you guys will listen to it because I really got a lot out of it. Um, and the testimonial, Mary Margaret Donahoe did her testimonial. Mm -hmm. and, you know, what a powerful testimonial. And that's why I asked her to share. I, you know, I went on to a, a See a Healthy Self and I was like, you know, we always have so many wonderful stories, but I said, let me go in and put in grateful and thankful into the search. And, you know, different stories came up, but her story came up and it was just really, really a wonderful story. And so I just messaged her and asked her if either she would share it or if I could. And so she was grateful to come on and share it. So if for nothing else, go listen to her testimonial because it's really powerful. Um, and it just shows the power of what these molecules do. And right. the testimonial that she shared, we knew that story from the beginning um, when that woman. You her, mean her, her, the one, not hers, but the other no, person. No, not hers, right. the other person. Yeah. Yeah. Who had a uh, deadly cell condition and with young kids, and it was really bleak. Yeah. And now she's fine and popping out a baby. So yeah. it was an amazing story. Yeah. We saw it live at the Envision conference when she told the story. And um, Mary Margaret went and knocked on her door. Like she just took a chance because she knew that this, this young, young woman with small babies was going to die. And so she just did it. And um, if you don't think that woman is grateful, I'll tell you, she just had another healthy baby this past week. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just a great story. Go listen to it. Um, does anybody want to share anything that they're grateful for or anything that, um, I mean, that's what this week is all about, right? If anyone wants to share, please unmute yourself and, um, and share. Because this is our call, everybody's call. Okay, while well, that is going on. So also, guys, um, that... Tyler Norton had created a remarkable, very inspiring message about gratitude as well. And he talks about gratitude enhances wealth, relationships, and overall happiness. And so I'm going to, he did a six minute video on gratitude and I'm going to, I'm hoping it doesn't, I don't know why it does that. Okay, give me a second because I can actually put this in it. here. I'm going to have to, um, oh boy, let me click on it. Give me a second. 
You guys are still there? Good. Give me a second. I'm clicking on Earlier it. Earlier this year, uh, as we were... And now I'm going to copy and paste the URL. Okay. Well, Terry, I'm grateful for you and for all the hard work you do for us. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Denise. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, hey, Terry, I want to share a little gratitude, too. I'm, I'm so grateful for you guys for blazing the trail for us. And I want to especially thank Foster for zooming into our Super Saturday that we had last Saturday. Yeah. This is Sandy in Happy Valley. Hi, Sandy in Happy Valley. Awesome. I'm just so grateful for all, for all you guys do. And I see you're the one that, that blazed the trail for us and, you know, gave us all the material to work from. And you have such big hearts. And, mm -hmm. and I just love my SIA family. Thanks, Sandy. Sandy from Happy Valley. You guys hear on the charger call every morning. Sandy from Happy Valley. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. Really appreciate that. Um, so, guys, get a chance. Listen to that six-minute video by Tyler. I could listen to Tyler all day long. I mean, what an amazing speaker he is. Uh, look, hey. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, no, the Discover ASEA, of course, this week, this Thursday is Thanksgiving, so there will be no Discover ASEA. And um, if you guys want how to combat negative websites, that is the feature that's being spotlighted in A-Team Support this week. So if you go to ateamsupport.com, click on the blue box. It's one of the nine boxes um, below the one, two, three for starting and you'll find a number of links to help you. So there's some really good stuff in there on how to combat those negative websites. Anything to add to that? No, that's how you combat the negative websites. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, I am going to post, these are all of the events that are coming up, and I'm gonna just type them in here for you guys. Those are all the, week, the events that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, we will be doing one with Scott LaValley on December 1st. We're really excited for that. And I think it's at five to seven. Is that four right? to six? Four to six. I know it was close somewhere around there. Hi, Scott. Um, I don't know. Hey, if you want to... hey Hi, guys. Yeah. Anything about that? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. We, uh, we got a big room at Lakeside Park. Um, it's called the JC Penny Room. It can hold up to 100 people. Um, and I'm really, I'm really excited for it. I've got some really great feedback from people, from some of the teammates who are going to be attending and bringing some people. So it's, it's going to be great. It really is. And, and I just want to say that, of course, you guys know that I am so grateful for the two of you, for everything that you've, you've done for me and for introducing this product here um, on the East Coast and just getting this whole, you know, amazing thing rolling. It's, it's really something special. And Foster, thank you. You're, I'm very grateful for you giving me all the great quotes that I can use for my memes on Facebook. <laughs> you mean this one? Oh, it's great. <laughs> can everybody see that? We have to pin this. That was, that was very inspirational when you texted me that last night. That was great. You guys know how Foster is very funny and just off the cuff. Well. And he always just comes up with such great things. And so this is what he sent to Scott, and Scott put it into a meme. So with Biome... <laughs> what does it say, Foster? Uh, the most important pre probiotic available. Let's start a movement. <laughs> this is not a roll of toilet paper. So, that is one of my favorites. I, I could have done it with stick figures, but I figure, you know what? If I send this over to Scott, <laughs> this is all about teamwork. So, yes. Scott, for making it come alive. That's hilarious. And thank you, Scott, for all you do as well. Amazing. You're awesome. You're talented, Thanks for keep Scott. having Thank us you. doing presentations. We love it. Absolutely. Um, thanks, Scott. And thanks, so, guys. Uh, we're doing another presentation this Friday at... 2 Church Street at here. Foundation RX Nutrition. It's a health food store. And that's going to be 2 Church Street Carmel. And we're going to start, I think, promptly at noon or not. But it's going to be at noon. Um, and it should be very fun. Anthony's got uh, seven stores that he's going to be carrying seat in. And it's very exciting. They have lots of gym owners and bodybuilders. And it's going to be an awesome crowd. Come say hello. Um, Black Friday. So hope you guys will join us. Um, and again, if you're not in our area, look at the other things that are going on. I know that Terry Latham is doing one on December 1st. He's having a big event. Debbie Wetzler on December 8th. So there's a lot. I put Australia has some great things coming up. 
Um, and of course, Envision Tour, I hope you guys have um, uh, booked your tickets because it's gonna sell out. So let's see, what else? Um, you know what I wanna do? Let's switch gears here and let's bring on, let's bring on our inspirational message for this evening. It is the amazing bronze executive, Denise Melia, who does a lot of personal development and she does public speaking. She's just awesome. So Denise, take it away. We are thankful for you doing the lesson tonight. Well, thank you. So um, I'm also an avid book reader. So this comes from the fifth agreement. A lot of you heard about the four agreements. Well, this is the fifth agreement. So I'm just gonna briefly go over the four agreements really quick. So the first agreement is be impeccable with your word. Because your word is a symbol and it has magic and power and it creates your world. So that's the first one. Be impeccable with your word. Yep. And the second one is don't take anything personally. Whenever someone says something, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal is a beautiful tool of interaction with your own kind, human to human. And it's a big ticket to personal freedom because you no longer have to rule your life according to someone else's opinion. I like that. Love that. The third one is don't make any assumptions. Making assumptions is just looking for trouble because most assumptions are not the truth. They're fiction. One big assumption we make is that everything in our visual reality is the truth. Another big assumption we make is that everything in everyone else's reality is the truth. We now know that none of the virtual realities are the truth. Mm -hmm. yep. the, the fourth one is, of course, uh, no, I went to the wrong one. Oh, do your best. The fourth one is always do your best. This is an agreement that helps you be the master. The first three agreements are in the realm of the virtual reality. The fourth agreement is in the realm of the physical reality. It's about taking action and practicing and practicing and practicing until your dream comes true. By doing your best over and over again, Eventually, you are going to master the art. And when you master the art, that's the second mastery, which is that you clearly see the fourth agreement. Now, my favorite one is the fifth agreement. And the fifth agreement is about, wait, I wrote it down. Be skeptical, but learn to listen. Hmm. The fifth agreement is what I call messenger training or angel training because it's for messengers who are aware that they have a message to deliver. So I'm saying that we are the fifth agreement. Angel is a Greek word, I feel like I'm Tyler, <laughs> meaning messenger. Angels really exist, but not, a, not the angels of a religion with wings. We are all messengers. We are all angels, but we don't have wings. We don't believe in angels with wings. Angels fly and they deliver information, a message, and a real message in life. But these are, there are so many messengers in the world who don't deliver life, who don't deliver truth. And the world is populated by billions of messengers. Um, and I say that we are the messengers that bring health and wellness and prosperity to people. Mm, I love and that. we do our best. And we can be skeptical, we're gonna have skeptics, but listen to what it is that they say and what they're telling us, because that's the key to what message we give to them. Oh, and always okay. do your best. Beautiful. 
You're welcome. Love that. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. That is awesome. That is awesome. Great lesson, Denise. And I think it's thank you for this week. And that, that's all you can do is be your best. Don't make assumptions because, of course, what was it? Don't make assumptions because when you when you assume, you make an ass out of you. Out of you and me. <laughs> what was that? Right. Yes. Happy days. It came from the odd couple. <laughs> odd couple. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> um, that's great. So thank and I you. want us all to get that we're messengers. You know, sometimes I don't tell people about a see it because I feel like I'm bothering them or I'm annoying them, and I'm really getting present to that. It's a gift that I'm giving to people. And if they choose, remember, don't take it personally. If they choose to see it as an annoyance, that's their choice. Yep. I know I'm coming from my heart and I'm being the angel, the messenger and telling them about something and I'm doing my best and I'm being in integrity. I'm keeping my word and that's what will make our business grow. I love that. Exactly. And if you remember, you love this product and you are thankful to the person who brought it to you, mm -hmm. when you bring it to someone else, that person may very well be thankful rather than being annoyed. Yeah. And if it, they get annoyed, that's up to them. Right. Right. Looking for those who are skeptical, but willing to listen and learn. Yeah. So yes. thank you very much for these awesome messages. Thank you, thank you. And like you said, don't take it personal. But we are messengers. We are all messengers of this powerful, powerful, these powerful molecules. And if we're worried about what other people say, we're never going to get that message out. Um, can't say the wrong thing to the right person. So um, thanks again, Denise. Great, great message. Awesome. And who's doing it next week? Who's doing it next week? Dun, dun, dun. Somebody raise their hand. Somebody. Wait, do I need to put my glasses on so that I can see all the hands that are raised? Come on, guys. It's so simple. It can be one minute. It could be two minutes. It could be three minutes. It, it's up to you. It's whatever's in your heart. Don't be afraid. This is a safe place. Nobody will judge you here. And this is a place that you should be vulnerable, as Tyler spoke about and Foster spoke about Tyler speaking about it. Nancy Walker spoke about Tyler. So, guys, this is a place to be vulnerable. I hope you'll just get out of your comfort zone and share something next week. Right there. Scott will do it. Thank you, Scott. Well, we know Scott. Okay. Next week. Somebody, I, I'm so grateful that, that we have, that we have and Denise and... I was, I was going to volunteer too, Terry, but you probably won't. <laughs> I, I want all of you guys. So again, but we have... We have I'm willing to help somebody if they want to partner with me to do it. This is Jenny. Oh, that's nice. So think about that too, guys. So we'll have Scott do it next week, but think about it this week. And if you're uncomfortable... Say, will somebody do it with me and help me through? And we would be happy to. Because guess what? If you can't be vulnerable and comfortable here with your safe ASEA family, how are you going to be vulnerable and comfortable um, sharing our message and being an angel? So um, think it about it. It feels really good when you complete it, too. After you do it, it feels great. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. It does. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. You're very welcome. I love doing them. Excellent. Excellent. And none of us used to like to do it, but it's so fun now. It's so fun to share that message. So I hope that somebody next week will get out of their comfort zone and just say, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's safe and it's a place to, it's a place to, to do it. Okay. You know what? I'm going to share a story. Go ahead. Share a story. Um, so Terry would tell you that the difference between me and a pit bull <laughs> is a pit bull let go. <laughs> is that at some point the pit bull lets go? <laughs> So um, <laughs> I've been working with a prospect, a very, very smart chiropractor nutritionist. Um, and I've been working on him, with him, for him, for a lot of months. Okay, so I finally convinced him And that he was pretty, he was not that nice in the beginning. He wasn't nice. It. He was not I nice I actually had decided I was never going to talk to him again because he was skeptical and knew he was too smart for this product and way too smart for the business. Um, but he's around, he's almost 70 and I knew that he could use the product. So I actually even made a deal with him and said, okay, if you'll be my customer, um, I will give you, cause he was also a colleague. I'll give you a free bottle each month for three months so that I'll help absorb the cost of your experiment. 
And he kept saying the whole time, got to see my blood work, got to see what it does to my blood work. And I said, well, what about if you have subjective changes? No, no, I got to see my blood work. Okay, so I stopped in his office the other day to give him his final free bottle because he's finishing up his third month. And when I got there, he said, um, he had mentioned something about, you know, blood work. And I said, you know, you're a chiropractor. When somebody comes in here and they walk out and they feel better, that's not blood work. That's just subjective improvement. And you're a hero. And it's awesome. And the next patient that was coming out of his was talking about, what are you talking about? And he said, oh, we're talking about this product. And it was his next door neighbor who's been suffering with a medical condition for 10 years. And she said, well, did that stuff help you? And then he said, my fatigue is gone. My mental clarity is gone. I feel- No, my mental clarity my, is good. My mental clarity <laughs> is good. Uh, exactly, thank you, Terry. And he just started doing this testimonial, but he's only been giving me a hard time for 90 days. So I just sort of crossed my arms and I was just listening. And she said, well, do you think it could help me? And he said, you know what? You know the thousand dollars in diagnostic testing we just talked about? He said, you could do this, it'd only be 140 bucks and uh, it can't hurt you. And there's a really good chance it would help you. And I didn't have to say a word. And she said, okay, how do I get it? So I just happened to have an extra pouch with me. So we gave her a pouch and by the next morning she texted him and said, oh my God, I am so much better today than I've been in years. How do I thank you? So had I not, had I taken all of his obnoxious, sarcastic comments. Personally. I, personally. Mm -hmm. If I had taken them personally, Denise, and I made it about me and not about him, he wouldn't have been in the business and he's already talking about how many people he has to join us because he is so well respected in the nutrition world. So it was, uh, I learned a lot of lessons <clears throat> and I learned to be thankful that he was still in the game and out of nowhere, sometimes when you just expect wonderful things to happen to you today, he started talking amazing things about it. It was just, just persistence and just trusting that at some point he was going to get it and he did. And it was, uh, it was awesome for everyone concerned, especially his neighbor. So what is the lesson? Be, don't be like a pit bull and let go. Be like Foster. <laughs> don't let go. <laughs> don't let go. Because he never said no. No. He just kept saying, I'm not sure. I need to look at my blood work until I said, blood work is objective. What if you only felt better subjectively? Would that be worth it to you? And uh, he started, he took, he got it earlier than he was willing to share it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. For putting up with me going over to freaking Brookfield. <laughs> Does anybody have anything else that they would like to share before we let you all go? Just unmute Because we know line. you're all going to start microwaving your turkeys tonight. <laughs> There's a joke. If your kids text you and say, hey, mom, um, how long should I microwave a 25-pound turkey? It's a joke. It's gone viral. My daughter tried it on me, but I, I was like... I got it last night, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> going She's through like, the millennials. She goes, it'll be crispy. And I said, no! <laughs> it won't. <laughs> so anyway um all right if nobody else has anything i just want to say we're really grateful for all of you for being here for being a part of asia being a part of our team um being a part of this mission um you guys are all angels and so we're thankful and grateful for you everybody have a wonderful wonderful week you will be with family on thursday you're going to be a family this week Talk to them. Take your C in front of them. Mention it. Got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Bye, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Foster, oh, yep. Just when you had stepped away, I wanted to say thank you for zooming into our Super Saturday here in Portland last Saturday. Oh, thank you. Um, I hope I didn't offend anyone. <laughs> oh, we were all laughing. It was great. You were great. Thank you very much. How big was the crowd? Was around here. We dig it. Huh? Was the good size crowd? Uh, I think we had like uh, 50 or 60 people. Awesome. Yeah, it was a great, great group of teachers that day up there. So I was just very, very happy that they asked me to join in. So it was awesome. Thank you. Yep.
All right, guys. Thank you, Thank you once again. Bye, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We're thankful.